Hi, in this video today I'll be solving paper A on word using IFO in notation sheet. The topic will actually which I'll cover today is evaluation of assurances and we'll cover a past year question which is CT5 April 2018 question 8. Let's look at the question and the word file. So this is the question. A term assurance policy is issued to a life aged X for a term of 20 years. Under this policy a sum assured payable immediately on death is 10,000 for the first 10 years increasing to 20,000 for the subsequent 10 years. Calculate the expected present value of the benefits. Determine the variance for the present value of benefits, basis mortality and force of interest. So if I find this now let's number this. So this is number 1. Okay, I'll just increase the font size. Okay, we write EPV first. So EPV of 20,000 into, now we have to give this integration sign for integration sign I and T. In brackets, you write your limits 0 to 20. And then within square brackets, you write whatever you need to write. So I'll just give a bracket 0 0.03 into E to the power minus 0 0.08 t brackets close brackets close and whole into dt this completes this integration so we will close the square brackets here and then next part minus 10,000 and then you have the remaining part again for integration I am not writing this again because this remains the same so just copying this and pasting it here with integration and limits changes from now 0 to 10 and other things remaining constant okay so you can just note down where to uh, copy paste and so on and then 600 into now we come to the square brackets where we have to write uh, solving our integration so this gives us minus e to the power minus 0 0.08 t brackets closing here for e to the power brackets closing it divided by 0 0.08 and close square brackets give a colon sign space a comma b which is 0 to 20 in this case ok and minus 300 into the same thing which we have written here with limits change just copy this remove this as uh, this is called copy and putting the limits of 0 to 10. Once this is done, now equals to 7500 into 1 minus e to the power minus 1.6 brackets close minus 3750 into 1 minus e to the power minus 0 0.8 brackets close and then you can just put on your mathematical values from calculator so plus 3750 into 0 0.4493 minus 7500 into 0 0.20190 and this comes to 39 20.8 okay so this is my first part the next part says variance so we will now calculate part 2 part 2 says variance so for variance we first need to calculate EPV square okay so for EPV square the values are now if you see you know that e for EPV square the values uh, we will just need to modify some of the things in this equation so copy this equation that makes the works easier for you so okay paste it now this will become square so again put a don't have to write the entire thing 20,000 square integration 0 to 20 for first case it is 0 to 10 here and 0 0.03 into e to the power minus 0 0.13 TDT and plus so this is 10,000 and this is plus 20,000 square ok into integration of 0 to 10 so here becomes 10 to 20 
and zero point zero three into e to the power minus zero point one three t d t. So once you make this changes and then we have equals to zero point zero three into ten to the power eight you see in 2 and then again 1 so putting two brackets 1 minus e to the power minus 1.3 brackets close brackets close divided by 0 0.13 and if you see there's one more brackets close here plus 0 0.03 into 4 into 10 to the power 8 into you have the remaining part which is e to the power minus 1.3 brackets with minus e to the power minus 2.6 brackets close divided by 0 0.13 brackets close and then you just put down the values 1, 6, 7, 87727.9 plus 18300758.3 which is equals to 3508848.2 okay and then we have our variance so variance is equals to this value please copy this value so that you don't have to write this minus 3920.8 square which is equal to 19715813.6 which is equal to 440 square so this is my ultimate answer to this question so it's easy for if you follow the IFO's notation sheet how they have written integer and the after putting the limits these values okay thank you